Today is Wednesday, June 11th, and I have five subscribers. No, we're not going to do that again. So today's journey is going to take us back into Ashland. Uh, this time I'm heading to the bank because my tutoring session on Monday left me with an awful lot of uh, green stuff in my wallet. And I'd like to get rid of some of it so that my wallet will close again. So I'm going to be talking about writing today. I'm having a problem creating conflict. I don't really have enough different sides constitute a good conflict. I mean, think of the best stories you've ever read. Think of uh, the best uh, movies or, or TV shows even that you've ever watched. In a most basic structure, characters fall into one of five categories. <laughs> five. Five categories. I have five. So no, never mind. We're not doing that. I already decided. So first, first category is the protagonist. These are the guys always, the, the story generally follows the good guy. He's the guy that wants what's best. So category two, flip side of that, the bad guys. These are the guys that are always trying to confound whatever the protagonist is doing. Well, and you can, you can tell that they're evil. You know, sometimes they make it blatantly obvious, sometimes less so, but you can usually tell that they're evil. Groups three and four kind of exist outside of the storyline, um, but they're just as crucial to the storyline as the others. Group number three is the enforcers, the law. These are the people whose job it is to enforce the law, want to maintain some sort of semblance of order. The thing about these people is that they are always going to side with the person who is the most law-abiding or who appears to be the most law-abiding. So he could be working for the good guys, but he could just as easily be working against the good guys. Category number four, uh, these are the sheep. These are the, the innocents, the, the common people, the ones who will believe whatever's put in front of them, who, who aren't really on either side, but can be detrimental to any side without even realizing it. Uh, these are usually the first ones to die. You know, whenever you're watching an episode of, um, of we'll say, Star Trek, and you see a face that you've never seen before, yeah, that's this category. That's category four. Category five, um, they're what I call the random elements, and they could be anything. Um, they could be spies, double agents, um, or they could just be someone who doesn't know where his loyalties lie yet. Uh, these are the ones that you do not know whose side they are on, either because they don't know whose side they're on or because they're not telling you whose side they're on. And the thing about this category of characters is that Whichever side they end up choosing or declaring is absolutely essential. Whichever side they choose, that's the side that's probably going to win in the end. Well, I think I've exhausted that topic of discussion for today, so I'm going to drive home and work on my story some more. Bye, everybody.